Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought we'd carry on doing a bit more work on these little coffee scoops while the wood is still green. This is where we got to last time. We've axed everything down relatively close um, and just a little bit of work now to do with the knife before I set them aside to dry. Um, as I said before, I wanted to keep the two of them connected because um, they're going to have some fairly small handles um, and it just gives me that little bit more to work with so I can hold on to one of them, do a bit of work, move it over. And I'm not trying to hold a really small fiddly item. Um, so today I'm going to be using my little Mora 106, um, lovely little knife. Um, I do have more expensive ones, but I seem to keep gravitating back to this. Um, so what I'll do, let me move the camera just a little bit closer in and we'll make a start. Right then guys, so as I say, I'm going to be using my little Mora um, and really all I'm going to be doing is refining down what we've done with the axe. Um, so as usual, I will skip through this footage so as not to bore you too much. Um, and really, I think we'll just see where we get to. Right then guys, so very quickly before I carry on, um, I realise I'm fast forwarding through a lot of this, but you may see me kind of doing this quite often. That's basically just trying to check the depth of this bowl um, to make sure I'm not going too close, um, as I've just done here. Now I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, let me get a bit closer for you. So for some reason, I'm not sure how I missed it, but I managed to go right through this bowl. Um, so I've lost one and to be honest this no, this is something that happens when you're carving um, you know you're always going to lose the odd spoon or whatever it is you're making now and again um, it didn't feel particularly thin there were a couple of knots here and I think that's what's kind of thrown me a little bit um, so we've lost that little scoop I may try and salvage it um, you know maybe you're okay to use for something else um, so I'm going to focus now on this one and just carry on carving Right then guys, so hopefully you can kind of see what I'm going for here. Um, I need to refine down the back of the bowl a bit and where the handle meets it. Um, but essentially that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, and I'm looking to probably have the handle come across maybe about here. 
Um, just a very short little handle. You know, you can get it into a bag or a, or a pot, scoop out some coffee, etc. Um, so I'm going to fiddle around with this off camera for another five minutes just to tidy it up a little bit, and I'll show you what we've got to. Right then guys, so we are about done for the day. I have taken off the excess and sort of roughed out the shape of the handle, finished off the back of the spoon, evened everything down, um, and really all that's left now are a few finishing cuts and some sanding once it's dry. Um, so I'm gonna put this away. Um, what I've actually been using recently is just a random piece of bubble wrap. Um, and what I'm doing is just kind of folding that over in there couple of times leaving the ends open so you're getting a little bit of airflow through there but it does limit um, the or reduce should I say the drying speed um, and that's what I've been doing for small items like this obviously bigger things like bowls I'm still keeping in a plastic bag with lots of fresh shavings but something like this generally speaking is okay um, and just another quick closer look here um, so you know just a note to probably more new new carvers than anything else you know I've been carving for years you know I'm not I, I don't consider myself an expert by any means but I've carved a lot of spoons um, and things like this do happen on occasion you know so what I would suggest, you know what I say to you is don't get put off by that um, you know at the end of the day you will mess up spoons sometimes you'll do something like this and carve a little bit too close and put a hole through it other times you might be carving and you'll split something off without meaning to sometimes you'll just put it away to store like this and it will split of its own accord and you know that's the thing with working with green wood especially but also seasoned wood as well there's always a risk that something's going to go wrong there could be a fault line in there the grain could go in a different way than you expect and you know the these things happen um, and you know am I really upset about it not really you know it's it, these as I say these things happen um, if this had been something like a really large serving bowl and like committed several hours or more to it yes I'd probably be a bit more annoyed but something like this I know I can make another one of these in I don't know an hour or so um, and, and I may well do just that if I decide I like this um, this style and I'll make a few more so anyway guys that's it from me for today I hope it was useful comments and questions in the box below hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time thanks guys <laughs>